Good morning, DP. And welcome to today's morning announcements. Today we'll be talking about parking permits, sports, clubs, and much more. So without further ado, I'm Sophia Pixley. I'm Ada Myers. This is Morning Announcements. And it starts now. now. Tomorrow during second period at 11 a.m., there will be a shelter in place drill for all students. This Saturday was the first beautified DP of the year. Around 100 students arrived on campus at 9 a.m. to help pull weeds, remulch planters, and pick up trash on campus. We collected nearly 65 pounds of trash. We want to encourage students to continue to pick up their trash so this number can go down. The next Beautify DP is October 14th. Come and get community service and help beautify our campus. Charger drivers, if you didn't pick up your parking permit last week, make sure to pick it up from Mr. Perry's office as soon as possible so you don't get the boot. Good morning, Chargers. For sports today, girls golf plays Buena at home at 1230. Girls flag football also looks to extend their undefeated record today at four in their matchup against Bishop Diego at home. Playing away, girls volleyball plays rivals San Marcos at 630. Make sure to wear your business attire and bring it to SM. The Santa Barbara Athletic Roundtable has inducted seven new members into the Hall of Fame. Sammy Hill led Dos Pueblos High School to three straight CIF water polo championships from 2008 to 2010. Jenna Ridgeway Corliss won Santa Barbara County cross country and track titles in 2005 and 2006. Great work Chargers and that'll conclude your sports for today. Come to the EPAC tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. to hear advice from past DP alums attending UCs, Cal States, SBCC and other colleges. They will talk about the college admissions process, what college is like, their suggestions, and will also take your questions. Attention all animal lovers. The Animal Advocacy Club meets today in S1, and it's open anyone, to anyone wanting to make a difference in our natural world. On the flip side, the Fishing Club will be holding a lobster hunting seminar for the next two weeks in preparation for the lobster season. Clubs meeting today are Creative Writing Club, Coding Club, Art Club, Women in Technology, Tabletop Gaming, Students Against Gun Violence Club, Math Club, and Anime and Manga Club. Make sure to attend your favorite club today. That's all for today, DP. We'll see you at tonight's games. And make sure to stick around to watch a video about the Orchid Skate Park event made by myself and Sophia Merritt. The Orchid Skate Park, located in Western Goleta, is a privately owned ranch turned skate park. The indoor and outdoor skate parks provide a space for the skate community to come together. Skate park owner and longtime local skateboarder Mike Taylor has his park open for reservations as well as hosting the 8th annual Labor Day event, Labor Orchid. The Orchid event is so sick. It's like the best vibe. Everyone comes here, they just throw down, try all their hardest tricks. I just went out there and just basically did big airs. I'm really here just to like put on a show and if I make it to finals, I make it to finals. Isaac, 16 years old, out of Carpinteria. I'm a skateboarder. I skate for Pal Peralta and um, and Bones Wheels and Bones Bearings. I'm here to compete at the, the Labor Day contest that we have here every year. So when I competed this morning, my first run I did like started out bad. I fell on one of my first tricks and then I had to like kind of restart. When I went like again, I was able to do some tricks that like I'm happy with and that changed the tone for me like skate better. The Orchid Skate Park had humble beginnings. Mike Taylor built his park from the ground up, starting with just one small ramp, and with community support and lots of wood and paint, this event now has sponsors such as Vans, World Cup, Paul Peralta, and more, with skaters traveling from as far as Europe to compete. Um, it was really good. It was, everyone was killing it. I'm a little jet lagged. I literally just spent three months in Europe, and it's like four in the morning for me right now. So I feel a little weird, but um, I had fun, so you know that's all I can ask. I've competed in the Orchid Ramp Jam, I think since the beginning, um, when it was half a ramp and, you know, everything's come a long way. The Orchid Skate Park has many opportunities to recreationally skate. You could go and skate the Orchid Ramp, which is like a mix of a, like four different half pipes together. There's unlimited obstacles. And then if you get bored, you could go skate the indoor. There's a good mix of everything, a nice vert wall, some street. But that isn't all the Orchid has to offer. Well, one, the private beach. I don't know if you guys check that out. Uh, super cool place to just relax. Um, people get married here. It's just a beautiful place, you know? Everybody should come out and skate this event. It's always a good time. Everybody just sends it, tries their gnarliest tricks. It gets pretty crazy, but uh, it's still fun. Everyone's still having a good time. With so much to offer, Labor Orchid is a thrilling event that brings the community together. 
For DP News, this has been Sophia Pixley reporting.